Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to do an update video um, regarding my last video about my husband and um, deployment and what was going on with that. Anyway, I put this chapstick on, it looks like kind of white. Ugh. Um, anyways, uh, I live in Washington, it's gorgeous today, going over the bridge, I don't know if you guys can see it, the water is beautiful. Sun is shining, Mount Rainier is out. Gorgeous state. Um, <clears throat> anyways, my husband came home on Thursday, which was earlier than I had expected, which is just typical military life. I never know when he's coming home, but it was a nice um, surprise to have him home earlier. So I went and picked him up on Thursday and like I said, we had been having some bad issues. We barely were communicating um, when he was deployed and just a couple emails here and there, nothing nothing great and I really didn't know what to expect when he got home. And um, oh my God, I'm never wearing this chapstick again. What the heck? <laughs> it's one of those ball chapsticks like everybody rants and raves about. And today I'm not wearing any makeup. Well, I'm wearing a tiny bit of mascara, but no, nothing else because it's really hot out and I want to get some sun. and. So I just threw on a little chopstick and it, ugh, it's horrible. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I picked him up on Thursday, not knowing what to expect. He was really sweet. He, you know, gave me a hug and a kiss, said he missed me and all that. And then we were kind of quiet on the ride home. And then everything just turned around. I mean, we've been so good. Granted, we've been kind of avoiding all of our issues and talking about like what the hell happened when he was deployed and what was going on. Um, which we need to talk about, and I'm I'm gonna I think counseling would be good for us. But things have been amazing. Like we like have butterflies again, and I guess distance really does uh, make the heart grow fonder sometimes. And um, I'm just I feel so happy to have him back. We got a babysitter last night and went on a date night and walked on the waterfront and got drinks and had dinner and we talked and talked and talked and talked and. Um, Things are just amazing. It's almost like we're dating again. I mean, we've been married for three years. We've been together for five, and we've just gone through so much in our marriage. Even though it's only been three years, we've had so many ups and downs with IVFs and infertility and miscarriages and finances and military life and you know on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> so it's really nice to be in this place where we're just really happy and things are going great. Uh, besides that, we I, there's some kind of bad news, and he's getting deployed again early to mid August which is frustrating because we have our IVF scheduled for August so it's um, mid June now so he'll be home for a month and a half a little less than that and then he's gonna be gone again so I don't know what we're gonna do we might have to cancel our August, our August IVF um, <clears throat> So we'll see about that and then so he'll be deployed again in August for a few months again another short one which I don't know how I feel about the short ones everybody's like oh it's so nice he's not gone very long but he's gone for like two months or three months and then he comes home for a month and then he's gone again so I almost would rather him just be gone for a long time and then come home and be home you know but that's again <laughs> submarine life I guess and then um after the new year, he'll be gone for a really long time. So I won't think about that deployment. But um, anyways, that's what's new with me. I hope everybody's doing well. And I guess I will fill you in later whether we can do the August IVF or not. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.